So Microsoft recently released three new regex functions in Excel, and these functions help us find and extract complex patterns in our data. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how to use them, and I'm also gonna show you how to prevent data entry errors by using them with data validation and conditional formatting. And you'll also learn how to use Copilot or ChatGPT to make the formulas much easier to write. So let's get to it. We'll first look at regex test. And here we want to test or figure out if these account codes contain any numbers. So right here in this cell, I'm gonna use one of the new functions. As you can see, I start typing regex here. We get the regex uh, functions and we're gonna use regex test. The text will just be the text that's in this cell, B6. And then for the pattern here within quotation marks, I'm gonna type in the regex pattern. Now this is gonna be zero through nine for all numeric values uh, in square brackets and then we'll close the quotation marks. Now I will explain later in the video how to figure out these different patterns uh, that you'll need for these different scenarios. This one's relatively easy. When we hit enter here, it's just gonna return a true because there are numbers in this account code. But when we fill this down, you can see we get a false right here because there are no numbers in this code. And then I have another example down here that's a bit more complex where we're looking for phone numbers. And in this scenario here, we want to see if the uh, scraped data, this might be data scraped from a website or something like that, contains one or more phone numbers. And for this, it's the same function, but as you can see, our pattern gets a lot more complex. And again, I'm gonna explain later how to figure out and get these patterns. It's a relatively complex pattern. Fortunately, you don't have to know or learn all of this stuff. We can use new AI tools for this uh, and some nice websites that'll help us figure all of this out. But here we have the true and false values to determine if the data contains a phone number. Next, we'll take a look at regex extract. And this is going to allow us to extract the data in those patterns or from those patterns. So here we'll just start typing regex extract. We'll tab into that. Same basic thing with this function here. We got the text and then the pattern. Here I'm just gonna paste in that pattern for the phone number. And when we hit enter, that's going to return the first phone number that it finds. Now, one really nice feature of regex extract is that it can also return a spill range with multiple values. So the return mode here, as you can see, by default, it's just gonna return the first match, but we can specify a one to return all matches. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now it's going to spill those values right here into this range. So it's gonna find as many phone numbers in the text string as it finds and return all of those there. Now, of course, one issue here, when we copy this down, you're gonna get some spill errors, right? And so this is always an issue uh, when we're copying down uh, dynamic arrays or spill ranges. But one quick thing we could do here is just transpose this. So we can just wrap uh, regex extract in transpose, and then that will spill it out to the right. We'll copy this down. As you can see, there's two numbers here, one number found here, and returning an NA error because no, no phone numbers are found. And before the regex functions, we'd have to create some kind of crazy monstrous formula like this just to extract a phone number. Now there's a lot of different variations of this, but this is one way to do it. And not only is this a large formula, but it also only returns the first result, whereas regex extract can return multiple results. So regex is gonna make our lives a lot easier when it comes to complex data patterns. And then I have another example down here with something similar, but just extracting dates. So again, regex extract will work with this. Here is the pattern for dates, finding dates in the text string here. And even when the date is in the middle of the text string or at the beginning of the text string, regex extract is able to handle that and extract or parse out the date. And the third new function is regex replace. And this is going to allow us to find a pattern and replace it with text or use another pattern in the replacement, which is really cool. So in this example here, we have these phone numbers in this text and we wanna replace the formatting or essentially change the formatting so all of the formatting of the phone numbers is the same. Because as you can see here, this one has parentheses in the area code, this one does not. Uh, same down here, this one has periods and, or dots and so on, right? So if we use this regex replace, again, we have the pattern right here. And then I also have the replacement pattern. So this is the pattern that's going to create the uh, phone number in this format, which just uses dashes between the numbers. So we'll hit enter there. That's, as you can see, going to make that replacement. As we copy this down, again, all of our phone numbers are now going to be in the same format and still keep the text in the cell. 
And another example of this is dates. So same thing here, if we want all of our dates formatted a certain way, we can again use regex replace to do that. I have the uh, original pattern here that I'm looking for for dates and then the replacement pattern right here. Now, one area where regex can be very useful is with data validation. In this example here, we're inputting SKUs or item IDs and creating them in this table. And we wanna make sure that they're all input in the same format or the same pattern. And that pattern is three numbers, followed by three letters, followed by two numbers, then a letter and then a number, all separated by dashes. And I have that pattern in this regex test formula right here. Here's the pattern. And so this is just testing. And as you can see, it returns a true because it meets that pattern. And we're gonna use this in data validation. So I'm gonna copy this entire formula text here, just hit Control C. I'll go select the cells where I want to apply the data validation, then go up to the data tab, click the data validation button. And here within settings, we're gonna choose custom. And I've already set this up, custom, and then we're gonna paste in the formula right here. Now the step that needs to change is this reference to cell C7. Yours might be to a different cell and you wanna change it to the first cell in your selection. So uh, C7, then hit okay. And you can also input an error alert or an error message here if you'd like, which I did there hit OK. And so now as the user is going and typing these in, I'll just make a modification to this one. Let's say we, instead of two numbers, we put two letters there, hit enter. That's going to fail the data validation. It fails the regex test formula. The re formula returns a false and therefore we get an error and the input or the error message comes up telling us that uh, we failed that. It gives us an example and asks us to retry. And we can also use regex test to highlight cells that pass or fail the test. So here, I'm again, I'm just gonna copy the formula. I'm then going to select all the cells that I want to test and highlight, go to the home tab here, and we're gonna use conditional formatting. We're gonna choose new rule. We're gonna use a formula, and then we'll paste in our formula. And here we just need to change the reference to C3 to the first cell in our selection. That'd be C6. I'm gonna hit F4 on the keyboard three times here to make this a relative reference. So as the formula is copied down, that reference changes. We're gonna say equals false at the end of it because we wanna check if it's false or if it fails. And if it does fail, we'll just format that and we'll just uh, do a, a orange fill color for now, hit okay hit OK again, and we can now see that we have a few items here that have failed the test. And so this just allows us to highlight all the items, and of course we can go check these and make updates as needed. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these patterns can be very complex, like as you can see with this one here. And the good news is, is that you don't need to learn how all these patterns work. We can use tools like Copilot, or in this case, I used ChatGPT to help create that pattern. I just asked it right here, please help creating this regex expression for the following pattern. I gave it an example, and I also listed out what the rules are for this specific pattern and ChatGPT came up with the pattern right here. And so what you would do is just copy this code and paste it into the formula and of course wrap it in quotation marks. And then it even goes into a further explanation down below. So that's one tool that you can definitely use. There's also regex101.com, which is a website where you can uh, put your patterns in and test them and get help if you do want to learn this language and the patterns. One thing to note here is that the new regex functions do use this flavor, which is PCRE2. So it's just good to know, even if you are using Copilot or ChatGPT, you might need to specify uh, that as well. So I'm curious to know how you will use these new functions. Leave a comment below and let us know. And if you wanna learn more about Excel formulas, then check out this video next. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.